Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On this year's strategy game, and we are returning to Let's Pro Democracy 4, playing as an ultra-religious party here. So, let's see what's going to happen, and what we can do to turn the country around. Now, we've just won the election last time around, and I do think that this is the time for some very radical measures over here. You can see we are getting a good amount of political capital per turn, and that is a little bit because uh, we are boosted from uh, the post-election uh, popularity search here. So I think that's very nice, and we are going to save up on, on some of the more radical measures over here. We do have um, a dilemma over here. I'm not really sure what we should uh, pick here from an ultra-religious perspective, so I guess we're going to support it. Yeah, it's going to increase equality a little bit. Socialists are going to be happy about that. Farmers, not so much. But that's all right. We do have quite a couple of ministers who are supportive of socialists. So I think that's going to be fine. Right. So we are earning 24 political power every turn. That does mean we should be able to save up to 48. And I do think that would um, upgrade to next time. So I don't really want to spend more than 11 or so political capital um, this time around. And one of the things that we can do to increase that is, let's look at one of our issues here, right? So hospital overcrowding, we did talk a bit about that last time. We're pretty much maxed out on state health service to the degree that I can. Population is something that's very difficult to influence. So only really healthcare demand can be influenced by us. And the biggest thing that I do see is obesity, which probably will go away at some point. A respiratory disease is going to go away, so that is going to come down anyway. But immigration is still one of the largest drivers of that. Immigration does also feed into the membership rating of the, no, not sorry, not middle income over here, but ethnic minorities. And we do need to make sure that that is coming down a little bit, otherwise we're going to have too many terrorists running about. So, let's go ahead then and increase border controls. Now you can see that maximizing that would, 20, would cost 21 political power, but if we just get a little bit shy of the maximum over here, uh, this is going to cost 11 political power. It's going to drive down immigration by a very significant amount um, over half a year or so. Ethnic and minorities are not going to be happy about that. Tourism is also going to go down. Uh, but patriots are going to like that. And I do think it does some positive things for us. Without further ado, let's go to the next turn over here and save up on some things. So, a couple of things are happening over here. Firstly, we've got a plane crash. Not that great. Everyone is going to be somewhat unhappy about that. 11%. We're happy that that didn't occur before the election. Obesity is gone. That's lovely to see. And here's here's a very important thing. GDP credit rating has been upgraded. And that is because I am guessing that the global economy here is rebounding. And that's very lovely to see because you can see the interest rate is dropping now. And it's I think it used to be at 4%. And that does drive a very large amount uh, of our deficit, actually. So we are down to 20 billion deficit, which is still very significant, but it used to be at 30 billion. And that was a bit harsh, so yeah. Right, so that's a very good development. We still need to address that deficit at some point, and I do think we will need to talk about some of these expenditures over the long term. But indeed we do have 48 political power here so that's pretty fantastic because we're going to do something very costly over here and I do think it's under public services and that should be under F faith school subsidies. This is incredibly expensive 45 political power that's that's very very harsh uh, but it does lead to higher education which is nice uh, it does increase religious happiness, but most importantly, it does increase religious membership. And not by a little, but by actually kind of kind of a large amount. So let's do that, and you should be able to see that this is about 35% or so over a very long term, 30 turns. That's, that's quite a long time, uh, but that is very nice because it does exactly what we need. Bring up religious membership, drive down liberalist membership, that's also very nice. It does cost a little bit of money. But you know what? I think that's going to be alright. So let's do that. And that is pretty much costing us most of our political capital over here. I don't think there's anything additionally that we want to do with three political power. I can't imagine else. Let's briefly look at the new laws. No, no. Yeah, it's pretty much a no on all of these things. So I don't think we need to do that. I don't think we need to tackle anything else. Let's briefly look at hospital overcrowding here. Yeah, I do think it should go down. And it should go down as health demand here is dropping even further. So that's very lovely to see. Immigration should also start to come down a little bit more. 
Even though GDP is a huge pull factor, so we will need to be concerned about that too. Right, uncompetitive economy, it's still around, but I do think that productivity is slowly going up here. So, slowly but surely, we should see some positive effect over there. How are liberals looking, by the way? 54%, so still pretty high, and they are going to be very upset about us. GDP, yeah, stable over here. Budget is... Deficit is down to 10 billion here. That is very, very lovely to see. I like to see that. That's extremely nice here. Good effect over there. Still not great, but it's going up, and that is lovely to see. That's actually super nice. Power lines, um, yeah, let's do build the power lines. Farm is not going to hit like that. Everyone is going to be a little bit upset, but it's going to go away over time, and we don't need to win an election just right away. Good, so we've done that. I think the next thing that we probably want to do is ban foreign church service. That is, I think, 30 political power. So we'll need to be slightly, slightly concerned about, so don't, let's not spend that right away, but it would drive down immigration further and I do think that is something that we want to look for here in this particular let's play man this is this is just going so against all of my <laughs> all of my core beliefs but yeah let's see about that right so 20 uh, 30 political power that does mean we should spend no more than 21 this turn let's see what we've got and we've dealt with that we do need to at some point uh, also consider the term limits here uh, because we are now a second term, and I'm not sure that we're going to be successful in it, getting our achievements here uh, with the Kingdom of God being enabled. So, actually what we might want to do then is just go ahead and go for public religious broadcast over here. That's relatively inexpensive, so let's do it. It also does bring up religious membership. It's going to hugely upset liberals, uh, but I guess we are sort of more or less at war against the liberals anyway. So, yeah, let's see. Credit rating upgraded again. That's lovely to see. That does have the potential. GDP is now maxed out, actually. So that's that's actually super nice to see. How's our budget look? Yeah, look at that. Budget deficit is down to 4 billion. That's nice. That's super good. Now, this is not going to get better, though, because the GDP is pretty much maxed out already. So we'll need to be slightly careful there. This is still... This is as good as it gets basically and it will go down from here so we will need to make sure that at least at this point our budget should be balanced if not even better so right let's see about that what do we want to do ah right ban foreign church service right how is hospital overcrowding looking it is coming down it's definitely coming down and that i think is largely due to healthcare demand being driven down here uh, largely because of these other things disappearing Immigration is starting to look pretty much low anyway. So I think that should drive the membership of ethnic minorities. Not sure why it isn't though. How is your membership looking? You still have a positive effect from here, but I do think it does take some time to come into effect. So let's double down on that. I do think we want to just basically make sure uh, that we've got that covered so yeah we're gonna ban foreign church service here it's gonna drive down immigration further ethnic ethnic minorities and liberals are gonna be upset but religious people love it racial tensions it's gonna go up actually so that's interesting I did not expect that but it is okay done that so that's fine um five political power not much we can do with that potentially looking at some of these taxes and things Uncompetitive economy is actually rising again. I think it's probably due to the wages. Yeah, wages are coming up. But productivity is its actually falling. Well, that's interesting. Probably due to unemployment. Yeah, well, and wages. Interesting, interesting. So we will need to keep an eye on that. Um, but I do think we're still earning 24 political power. So that's very lovely to see. How are the religious people doing? At this point, you really, really should be extremely happy. Yeah, you are. And you're 60% of the population by now. And this is being driven up very fastly over here. So, that is is very nice indeed. Let's get to the next turn over here. I've got one more thing that I want to do. Oh, garbage scam. This is not nice. Budget report. Mm. 
Oh, we're actually running surplus. Lovely to see. Very nice. That's that's great. But we do need to be concerned about anything uh, dropping us down. But you know what? Let's double down on what we are doing here. So let's go for school prayers over here. That should again drive up religious membership. And that's very lovely to see. I do think that we're probably going to see some racial tensions here um, at some point. Where's that actually? It's very small, I think, for now. At least I can't see it being extremely big. So, what's this? Lifespan. Okay, lifespan is nice. Good, but where are racial tensions? It's not corruption. To national trade, foreign relations. Come on. I can't see racial tensions for now. Oh yeah, they're over here. Yeah, and they are shooting up actually. That's probably going to cost us the effect on the egalitarian society here, but it's going to bring down liberalist membership, which is good. And it's going to arrive down at immigration too. Although it's further going to hugely upset people. Yeah, and I do think that we're going to lose this here. Primarily due to racial tensions. How about education? Yeah, this is pretty much being maxed out here. So, I'm guessing that's okay. But yeah, we should see a huge surge in, in the membership here um, of the religious people now. Yeah, 62% already. So that's, I think, three percentage points more. And you can see all of these effects here are coming, gonna come into play. It's gonna last a very long time. That is why I wanted to enact these things very early on here. And we've got another credit rating upgrade. That is very lovely to see. GDP is pretty much maxed out already. So fantastic actually on that front. The nasty thing is that respiratory disease here is coming back. Ah, oh, just barely. We just got, oh, it, that's just, that's just so annoying. But I do think that the environment here is, is suffering pretty much from the extremely high GDP. That is an issue we will need to think about our economy here. Uh, sorry, about our environment uh, in a while. But for now, I think we've we've set the stage pretty much for for some of these things. So it's still generating 24. I do want to take into account the term limits because the term limits we're currently only allowed to two terms. This is our second term, so that's basically a no no. Let's try to spend up at least. I do think we need 35, 34, something like that. Where's the term limits? Must be very small. Yeah. Okay, we need 34 political power to do that. So, at most, spend 21 this time around. Anything we could do for 21? Hmm, don't think so. I would love to do the military oath, the military religious oath at some point. Just to, you know, really lock in the amount of... Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit too expensive. But I would like to do it because it is going to drive up religious membership. But we can't do it for now. We can't. We can't do it just this time around. So yeah, I, I think we don't have that much. The the issue is we don't. Most of the things that we are doing are so radical that they do require an enormous amount of political power to actually enact. So I'm guessing. Well, I would love to do limit of banned cars and cities to get rid of the respiratory disease. Dwellers Castle? I don't think I've ever seen that. Interesting. Well, I don't think I've ever enacted it. Of course, we've seen it. Congestion charging? This would be pretty much alright. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I do know that it upset motorists, but it does bring down car usage and actually congestion as well. And that should be pretty high, actually, at this point. Yeah, and that does cause a couple of problems here. So let's reduce that. Hope that it's going to be helpful like that. And then go on the next thing. Organized crime, you do keep telling me that that is going to be a problem, but I don't think so. Budget surplus 8 billion here, that is fantastic to see. I really, really like to see that. Good, okay, you know what, let's go to the term limits. I don't want to forget about that. 34 political power, lovely. Wasn't it more? I thought it was more. Anyway, fine. Um, we do have 10 po more political power. We do need to do the nuclear and test ban treaty. No, we're not going to sign that. Patriots are going to love us. Environmentalists, not so much, but they are kind of all right anyway. So I'm going to be fine with that. This is such a shame that that is actually back again. 
I would have hoped that that would have gone be gone for good. It's it's always such an uphill battle with the respiratory disease. At least once you have very high GDP, and I do like to have a high GDP because it does allow us to spend like crazy. Um, how much are we actually spending on interest rate at this point? Not that much even anymore. Twelve billion. Um, still, it's very nice. I mean, still that's more than we are spending on the military. So, yeah, it's not. It's absolutely not nothing, and it's still a big concern here. Right, that being said, what do we want to do next? And I do think I've got something in mind, but it's probably going to cost us quite a bit of political power again. So, you know what, let's save up on that. Because again, ooh, we're exiting the World Cup, that's not nice. Ooh, cyber warfare, yeah, that's probably going to start at some point. That's not great, so we do need to increase intelligence services here. And we should better do that now, because it's pretty much a short-term effect. A long-term effect, so we need to counteract this early before it starts. Yeah, but as as GDP is increasing and as foreign relations are turning down because all of the uh, things that we're doing, there is a bit of an issue here. Right. Okay, things are going okay-ish. How about religious membership? 76% of the population. You know what? That, I think, is fantastic. We're probably going to have 100% religious membership at some point here soon. Oh, human development is starting to bring that down because it's starting to be very high and at very high levels human development does bring down but I think with all of the propaganda that we're doing it's probably still all right Jesus how can we still have the uncompetitive economy productivity is so so low largely due to wages yeah wages are probably sky high due to GDP mostly and immigration is bringing that down, which we are counteracting, so this is not necessarily great. Minimum wage, yeah. Getting rid of minimum wage might get rid of our unproductivity. Unemployment is fairly high, uh, low, so that does mean unemployment does have a high effect on GDP. does make some sense, but yeah. As little we can do here, short of uh, upsetting our socialists, and I don't want to do that. So... Let's look at one thing. So, we've dealt with that. We've got 34. We don't have... I, I mean, 34 is not necessarily enough to try to tackle that. Hospital overcrowding? It's Oh, it's starting to come up again. Yeah, probably because of the... We, we got the respiratory disease back. Yeah, that's, that's really not that nice. Oh, and look at that. The immigration, even though we enacted the... The border controls and the ban foreign church service. We're still seeing an uptick here in immigration, largely because of, of our extremely high GDP. So we might actually want to do some measures here to bring down GDP a little bit, because at this very very high level, this is causing some problems. And we've got a couple of things that are driving that science funding. Interestingly enough, tourism, small business grants. We could get rid of them. I mean GDP. Getting rid of that is not a terrible idea. Self-employed people do like that, but anything else here really is just... It's its good to have an effect on, on GDP, of course, but if we brought that down significantly, I think people would be not necessarily that much more upset with us. And the effect here on GDP, we can largely go without. So I think that's fine. And it does actually save us some money too. So, yeah, let's actually apply that change for a second here. Just to make sure that we're not going over the top here um, on the GDP. Which we are, in, in fact, doing anyway. Yeah, quite a couple of things here that are nice. National Business Council. Yeah. It's going to have a hugely long-term effect. But then again, it's extremely inexpensive to, to change that. So, let's do that. Just to... Just to really get a couple of things going over here in our favor. Maybe bring down respiratory disease. Maybe bring down immigration uh, due to that factor at least. Because there's not much else that we can do short of building a border wall. Which of course we can do, but I don't like it. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! For our country has truly achieved heights of impressive piety. More important, we are not teaching this evolution nonsense and keeping the faith in our schools. Amen. So here we go. 
that's that's actually one of the achievements that we are looking for. So that's fantastic to see. I I really really liked to see that we've done that so early actually here in our uh, second term. But that is largely because we've driven up our political power generation to such high levels that we could just increase the percentage here of the population that is religious, and it's coming up in very very quickly over here as you can see over time very interesting development very interesting so uh, oh by the way we did want to increase the intel services right let's not forget about that yeah so the second thing that i've ignored a little bit that we should still seek to do is i want to pair that religious focus here of course with the wrapped in the flag achievement so with rampant nationalism just to make it a little bit more dystopian still and that is exactly what we're going to do. So let's see what we can do on that regard. There are quite a couple of things that are very expensive to implement, I think at least. I don't think we need national service for that. No, we do. We do need national service for that. And that is one of the most expensive ones. 50 political power. That is going to be very difficult to achieve. But yeah, so far, I'm very happy already. So fracking, uh, we can allow that. It's actually going to bring up GDP. Don't need that, but it's also okay to give the environmentalists here a small debuff because uh, they are already pretty complacent, uh, and I dislike to see that. Okay, we've got 48 political power. You know what we're going to do? Um, so liberals here are starting to be a bit of an issue. So these guys are not that happy, um, and there are still quite a couple of these people around. So I think what we're going to do to try and tackle that is something that we have done should have done for a long time and that is we're going to bring down press freedom. This is going to be a huge step here because it's going to drive down liberalism quite a bit. It's also going to make them more upset but it's also uh, going to decrease democracy and we're really not aiming to say in democracy and everyone is going to love us because well we only allow the press to write favorable things about us so yeah I think, I think this is a perfectly fine and balanced approach uh, to things. So let's go ahead and do that. Which I do think, I mean, this is this is so so odd uh, in a way. But okay, you know what? We are committed to this. So yeah, let's let's stick by that. Um, do we have the National Forces Week? I do think we have that already, don't we? Tax? No, it's not under tax. It's under welfare or law and order. I think we do have it. It's pretty cheap anyway. So, yeah, that is fine. 11 more political power. You know what? Uh, we should look at the cyber warfare stuff. And for that, I would like to look at the intelligence services here, which we do need to bring up anyway, uh, because otherwise uh, we are going to be potentially suffering here from some security issues. So, yeah, let's do that. How much did you cost? Okay, I thought that was 8 billion here, which, which is running quite a bit into our surplus, if that was the case. Okay. Let's see where we stand. Colossal bomb ban. Uh, pff, let's reject it. We're going to go for the capitalists anyway. So that's fine. Economy is looking fantastic. But it will turn sour at some point. And it's nice to bank some surplus in the meantime. So I don't want to spend that too much. Uh, in case you're thinking that. Good. Alright. 27 political power. We could do... Well, what do we need? We need the flags on every corner, for example. It's going to increase racial tensions again. Ethnic minorities do not like it. Foreign relations are going to go down. Um, but it is one of the policies that we do need. I think we're going to go ahead and do it. Right. So, Patriots like it. Patriot membership is going to go up. So, that's good too. That's going to be one of these very long-term effects. The effect on ethnic minorities is actually not that large, so yeah, I think that is that is a good policy. Um, let's briefly look at the Patriots and see what's gonna what's driving you mad. Foreign aid, actually, and complacency because you are pretty happy already. So what about your membership then? Foreign relations. Oh, interesting. I did not know that that drives you by so much. Okay, all of these things are pretty much maxed out already that is going to come into effect over a very long time so that's fine anything else that we want to do 11 political power is not that much so I think we are a little bit better off by waiting for a while 
One of the things that we could use for productivity increases is the high-speed rail line. It might be useful in the long term, even though, I mean, GDP is, is in a way, it's too high anyway already. Although it's going to come down slightly here due to some of these things. And I do think items like international trade here are going to come down because um, of the democracy rating that we've got over here. Which is going to come down here over some time to, to a very low level, I think, ultimately. Corruption is fine, though. Foreign aid received. No, we're not getting any foreign aid. But foreign investment is probably extremely high. And it is. Due to stability and democracy. So we're going to lose these effects, and they are a huge effect on GDP. So I think that's going to come down sort of naturally as we are changing here uh, to a more nationalistic society. Can we do something for the environment? It's so low. And I don't think it's just car travel, even though car travel is probably sky high. Yeah, so we will need to think about what we can do to directly help the environment. And I don't think there's that much that we can do immediately. Even carbon capture and storage is not driving that. Mandatory microgeneration, that might help out the environment. Yeah, it's going to massively impact the energy industry, but that's not really in effect. Environment would do much better, but not too much. Mm. Oil demand, environmentalists making more, them more happy. It's nice, but it's really not much of an effect, so I don't think that is something that we want to see immediately. What we might want to have to do then is look at the intelligence here, because we just have don't have enough over here to really make sure that we are safe and nobody's gonna try to kill us. Curfews. I don't think torture usage is, is just called for. Pazes. Wiretapping might be one of these things that we do look forward to. ID cards. That actually brings down liberalist membership, but only by a tiny amount. Although patriots do like it and conservatives do too, so this might be one of the things to do, although it's incredibly expensive. I would not thought that would be that expensive. Let's uh, save up for now and see. Ooh, a regional war has broken out. That is interesting because it's driving up Patriot membership, but it's also going to drive up immigration. In our neighboring country. What country are we neighboring that could be breaking out into war? Well, I'm guessing if we're not counting just the metropolitan area, uh, but also the other areas like the colonies, there are some countries that could viably uh, fall into, into such a, a gap, but for now I really, really don't see that. Right, 36 political power, you know what, I think this is a fine place to put in a cut. So, I'm very happy about getting this achievement, so that's very nice. But let's see whether we can all to get wrapped in the flag. I don't think anything else does fit to um, this sort of let's play here. But let me know what uh, your thoughts in the comments down below. Do leave a like and all of that. And I hope to see you guys around next time. Bye bye.